Actually, I have something I want to test now. So we will kind of still be playing bunker comps a little bit. But uh, it's more of a controlled environment, kind of, a little bit. Hey, what's so... going on, guys? This is Andy. Ah, shut up. Yeah. All you right, guys remember this video, right? I'm gone. Now I'm back. Uh, this video, where we played Koga before the Pierce buff, and we ended up getting a really good comp for the Pierce. Grok, Barrick, Khan, Ying, Victor on Frog Isle with some random stuff on my team. I want to recreate that and see how much value we get out of the piercing damage, right? Do kind of a before and after comparison. So whoever's on the enemy team uh, should play this comp. And I will play Koga. If my team also plays the same comp, I guess that'd be funny, but we can't get the same players, obviously. Uh, but generally, we're just going to test this again and do a direct comparison. And yeah, I really want to see how much the Pierce buff makes a difference when you have that many deployables on the field. All right, Adrenaline Junkie, same build. We've got Unyielding at level 5 for maximum energy efficiency. We just sit here and we pierce all of the deployables that the enemy team has. Basically a direct before and after of the video I published a few days ago to now, right? Before, no piercing. Oh, it was so hard to kill anything. Now, with piercing, hopefully it will be a lot easier to clear the field of all those deployables. But again, shields are a nightmare on the PTS, and if these tanks buy Guardian, which they're probably going to do, that's going to really hurt me. I'm going to buy Racker Bulldozer again, like I did in the video, and we're going to see if this will be slightly better. They're both buying Reju, thankfully. Got some Horde, though, from the Vic and the Grok. Interesting. All right. Here we go. Let's head out. Let's do this for real this time. Hi. Take some damage. All right, let's go into claws. Let's just experiment. Actually, aim the shots as well. We can kill the Grok. I gotta go, though. I'm dead. Ah, he's Totem. Okay, I need some life rip as well, then, this match, because Grok heals are not that great for Koga. <laughs> You're not sucks on Koga. Koga Claw sucks. That is a very... Brilliant and astute observation, except it's not at all because I don't play Koga that much. And yeah. Also, the claws are a lot better now because look at that Pierce. Look at that Pierce. Got him lined up in a row. When there's not a shield, it's so good. And now I'm just going to quickly recharge all of that energy back. And then we're going to do it again. Let's go claws now. Pierce through, hit that Ying. Pierce through, hit that Grok. There we go. Ah. That is a much better demonstration of the actual effectiveness of the claws. Now that we can actually kill something. Hey! Wow. That's all I want. It's a fair test. So, there we go. Let's head around the side here. I might be pushing up a little bit too far, but I want to see if we can get some more fat pierces. This is like best case scenario for the pierce as well, because they have so many deployables. That's why I wanted to test this again, because yeah, look at that comp. There's so much stuff to pierce through, and that value is going to be huge. Just getting rid of all their deployables while also hitting them simultaneously. We slash you to death. We pop this and then ult. Maybe I can kill Vic? No, I don't. He's gone. Okay. He got stuck a little bit. All right, Ying's dead. Need to heal up. I got a totem here. I got 49 healing. That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Josh, now we're the ones stomping, though. This is not fair either way. None of them are fair tests. Oh, hello. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, Barrick's dead. Piercing damage! Oh, yeah. Alright, let me get some life rip. We'll see how life rip feels with the piercing damage. Like I said, it shouldn't stack on deployables, because deployables are not play... Uh-huh. <laughs> Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. <laughs> Don't get a sore tooth. Wait, it's only enemy you see. Wait. Four, three, two, one. Feisty. Okay, this is now a 4v6. I guess he thought we were stomping too hard, huh? Okay. Oh, man. There's just a barrier in my face. 
Okay, let me get some energy. Oh my gosh, all the things are happening. Let's wait for the things to stop happening, and then... Claws! Save the day! Yeah, you see, I didn't get life steal on those turrets. I'll only get it multiple times if I pierce through multiple of the actual enemies, right? Oh, I'm dead. We lose that. Wow, I I'm so surprised we lost that, chat. We lost our tank, and now it's 4v6? Hmm. Oh, he's back now. He's back. Bruh. Okay. That's brilliant. No more screwing around. Um, oh man, it's so weird not being able to buy Life Rip 3 at 600 credits. That's going to take some getting used to. That's probably the biggest item change that's thrown me off the entire patch. <laughs> it's just, it got more expensive. It feels weird now. That's it. All the other prices, for some reason, are fine for me. I guess because they got cheaper. But this one? I don't know. It's weird. Hey, buddy. Oh, you have a Yingle. You'll be fine. I will not be fine. For I am now out of position and did not get a kill. Yikes. Claw time! Clear out those deployables real quick. Hit the Grok totem. Hit all of that. Look at that. That is juicy. Oh my gosh! Look at that damage! Woo! Wow, if we get them lined up like that, that is huge. This could also be pretty good on a map that's less open, right? Frog Isle is pretty open. But can you imagine this on Ice Mines? Hitting people in a tight hallway? That would be so juicy. Even if they don't have a comp that's this good for piercing, like the enemy team has, you could still make that work really well. Boom! Boom! Oh! Ho, ho, my gosh! The enemy team is not helping their case either, because they are lining up way more than I feel like people normally line up in these games. Oh, wow. Okay, that was pretty insane. Yeah, uh, maybe be a bit careful on your grouping there, enemies. There's so many deployables. Destroy it all. Destroy it all, man! Kill the barrack. Kill the grok if we can. There he is. Destroyed. Ah. Get back in spawn, con! Get back in spawn! Nope, get back in spawn! Get back in spawn! Back in spawn! <laughs> Oh crap, they have overtime. Oh, wait, run, well, run, uh, run, 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 Tyler, run, Tyler, life steal, Tyler. life steal! Oh, I have a wall! Life steal, go! Oh my gosh, we're alive. We're alive, but they're still pushing the payload. I know! I'm coming, Leon, I'm coming! I'm very slow! Agility! Agility! It's Victor! Oh, she killed him! Oh, she single handedly saved the defense. Oh my gosh. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> Wow. Well. Whew, we almost lost that round. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> this is pretty crazy, though. I'm going to get more Bulldozer. Because the Pierce really scales well with Bulldozer, right? Obviously. I hit multiple deployables. More damage on the weapon shots. It's crazy. This is uh, absolutely night and day, like I was describing. If you can look past the fact that our team comp is different... And the fact that Feisty Jalapeno is trolling. And the fact that the matchmaking isn't that good because we have completely different players to the ones who were in the first game. You can still hopefully understand that this Pierce buff is really helpful in certain circumstances like this one. And again, it's not helpful in every circumstance. Single target damage? Yeah, it is exactly the same. But, with a comp like this... It's pretty nice. That Ying is low. Yes, got her. Let's just go back into SMGs, try and do some more damage here. I got my ult back really quickly, somehow. I guess I'll use it for the iframes. Eh, 300 damage as well. Nice. Boom, pierce you. I'm probably dead now. Yeah, all right. Koga is a niche maelstrom grok now. Kind of. In some ways better, in some ways worse, yeah. You don't really have the cover denial that Maelstrom does, but I feel like the actual raw DPS, when you're just piercing like that, is a lot higher. Wow. And it scales really well with a new life rip, too. So yeah, there we go. GG's. I mean, GG's. We had a, a, a dev trolling, or a hacker trolling. I still don't know if it was 100% feisty. It probably was, though, because he has dev commands. But uh, yeah, that's the Pierce buff for Koga. I'm glad we got to test that in a circumstance where I don't get instantly 4-0 stomped. <laughs> We get to show it off at least a little bit better than the match where I got zero kills. That's nice.